Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with Dr. Stone, Season 3, Episode 17 and 18. Last time around we tried to uh, put into motion the plan that Senku and the others cooked up together with Moz. Unfortunately, all that with the mysterious warriors with the hoodies fell into the water because Ibarra actually heard everything because he had one of those uh, earrings for communication uh, through which Moz was receiving the orders from Senku, so that plan didn't go too well. Uh, we were retreating and uh, Senku basically created a gun, something that was hinted from the very beginning of the series. We wanted to create a gun to be like deterrent for Tsukasa, right? Because nobody can over overpower him when it comes to raw strength so just use weapons i guess we finally see the gun and the plan was for yo to use it by the way yo i mean you can kind of blame it on he didn't use gun for such a long time right but he sucks he same suck but he quickly improved i have to give him credit so uh, not like it matters because freaking Magma stole the gun like a madman and he went uh, towards the ship and he wants to claim the prize. He wants to be the hero and the one who will take down Ibarra. And it's funny because Gen with, is with him again and Magma is such a funny duo, man. And we saw Nikki and the others are behind Magma trying to stop him right now. Uh, Senku is even like saying, oh, it's about to be a fun brawl, man. Like our strategy turned into an all-out battle it seems so they're gonna fight on the sea like pirates and we had the scene with Soyuz and his I guess is it his father right him holding his father's arm that is petrified and he learns the news that apparently his father cannot be restored with fluid uh, I don't know if I missed something, I don't know why, but at least they're gonna try to put him back together, right? Soyuz obviously broke down and he was crying, but later on he gained resolve to fight for his village, for his people, and he trusts his friend that they will put the statue together and they will bring it to the ship for all the people to see. So, yeah, pretty wild stuff. Um, I'm sure that these episodes will be Crazy, I'm uh, ready, so without further ado, let's start episode 17. Let's begin, guys. Alright, guys, everything is ready. Let's start. We're gonna jump into action immediately. Look at Nikki. Yeah, screw everything, that's the plan now. There is the gun. That was a burning shot. Bro, Magma is itching for action. Nikki is trying so hard to stop him. <laughs> He's truly a madman. Let's see what happens. Joker? <laughs> About that, die, Bara. I mean, considering how fucking evil this guy is, bro. But I get it. I'm gonna kill you all. Finally, <laughs> I was waiting for this. Yeah, I'm not sure that you can take on Mickey, Mickey just like that, man. I know, right? Hey, time to throw some hands. Yo, is reloading. Three more shots. Magnesium. So he has extra rounds right now. Holy shit. It's so shiny. So silly. Oh, 
And of course the power of bluffing. His bullshit work. It's Moz. And he is angry. He will be like unpredictable factor of chaos, bro. Is he jumping straight towards Yo? Oh, that's why we saw that flashback. Yeah, he's heading right for Yo. He's so fast that he noticed the movement of finger and Yo didn't even have the chance to shoot. Oh, look at Nikki, bro. She's like a Hulk. Oh my god. <laughs> she got smacked. <laughs> we are running out of tricks and ideas. He's sweating. Bro. Taiju needs to come here. I know that it's in Taiju's character and... He's all about shielding others, but I would pay money to see Taiju just smack this guy in the face, bro. He broke through that shit like it's nothing. Okay, how do we get out of here? Bara is there as well. We are gonna see those eyes, yeah, it's like he has fucking women gun, bro. We had you corner us. Of course. What's with this wall? Need to case it. Did he just revive? It's the Joker in the title of the episode, who is he reviving? Oh shit! Yoga! I forgot all about him! That's right, he and Homura are in prison! Wow, I love this! Oh, are we going to have Yoga join us in the end as well? That would be nice despite him doing some pretty fucking evil shit. He tried to kill Mirai, he killed those his men, but. Oh what if he turns on us right now? I wonder if Omura is free as well. She can be so useful, she is very nimble and athletic. Uh, was this a good idea? Uh, Senku seems pretty confident. But I would be worried as well. Oh, now you're a panicking bitch. He realized that they will... Ah, the leader, the master. It would be cool if they can revive him. The way I understood last episode, they said that they couldn't revive him. Okay, that was such a nice twist. I forgot all about Yoga Man. Oh my god, <laughs> she's <is> blushing. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have any other girls here. <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward, man. It's definitely gonna be awkward. She's embarrassed already. She's gonna do it, huh? <laughs> I have to save those words for the one I really love, ah. <laughs> come on, come on. It's not for real, Nikki. We're running out of time. Can't 
君は素朴な大義さえなければ死体だけです。あ、デザイアーセレクション。愚かな人々にはこのまま眠ってもらい、優れた遺伝子。Not この細め君の強さはよくわからないけどさ。高校大手。お客も、ハレも頂いたらいい。まあ、殺すけどね。ありきりよ、エニウェイ。お子様だ、モズキ様。全ての女は皆美女だ。そのお楽しみ。ちょ
She remembered that. <laughs> She's going against him, bro. I mean, yeah, I'm dumb. They don't know about the master that he's petrified. Oh shit, here we go. The major reveal. He's missing part of the face. Yeah, it would be nice if we have a megaphone or something. Yeah, nice, just as she was questioning Ibarra. One meter, one second? That's how he controls it? He's gonna petrify her, and he threw it probably one meter. And the beam will be only one second, right? Is that how it works? Damn. She's a stone. <sighs> she finally realized. Guilty of knowing. Throws her into the water just like everyone else. Blood. What happened? Did he got shot or something? Yep. <laughs> Freaking go, <girl>, okay. <laughs> he has only one more. You are under arrest. I'm suspicious of being dead. Oh, that probably hurts like hell. And he dropped it. Let's go. Bro. Finally, man. Finally, something good from you, bro. I love this. Let's go, man. Let's fucking go. So I was always saying how Yo is probably one of my least favorite characters. Maybe he still is, man, but at least they created such a nice scene for him. Okay. I like the way they did that. Showing us the blood dripping one. Petrification item. Resisting the rest. <laughs> well deserved, Ibarra. You fucking piece of shit. Medusa is ours. Flicker of Doom. Oh, by the way, I love that they are calling it Medusa, right? Because we also have literally. We have a ship called Perseus. They're really going at it. Okay, Hyoga is holding up. Uh, you still have tendency to screw up, so be careful with that shit. Oh my god, him and his fantasies. <laughs> Even imagining Senku bowing down to him. What if there is more to it? Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, now that I think about it, they just used to throw it and... Do you have to say what the Ibarra said, like one meter, one second, you have to state, like the range and the length, time limit, but he's running out of breath, man, while this guy looks like at 100%. Ah, his ego is through the roof, man. I really don't rock too much with this character. Okay, Yoga. Jumping into the water? Yeah. It was on purpose, definitely. Oh my god, that almost killed Yoga right then and there. He's on the ground. He has to climb. Hey, if that's gonna save his life, fuck it. A mighty weapon for me! His spear! 
That spins. Yeah, he has those like spin spears attacks. Oh, Yoga's redemption development. Okay. All right. I really like that face that he made right now. Omeka Senko, long time no see. Exactly. Dry lubricant. Yeah, be sure to tell your family first. <laughs> <laughs> Slippery shiny. <laughs> They're right next to them. I remember that. And they stabbed Kinra. That is too perfect, man. So that's all he needed? Over the Kanryu style. Okay. All he needed for spinning motion is that. Yeah, he comes here as a specialty. Going boss right now, bro. He's gonna destroy his weapon and he's breaking his armor. He's, he doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, it's quite nasty. He's pushing him back. Ability to build upon past generations. Oh, this is him as a child training. Hard work will be rewarded. Mastering the craft. <laughs> GG. Okay, I like this. I like the, what they did with Kyoka. I can't believe this shit, man. As he was falling into the water, he was falling right past that shit, man. And this dumper sure didn't notice that. Damn. So that is how it works. You literally have to say the range and time limit. So is there any limit when it comes to, like, range? Two kilometers for 15 minutes? He put it inside of his mouth. He's insane. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pausing, guys. So, when he says the time, it's not like the duration of the beam. How long will it last? It's actually like creating a... a, a, a like a stopwatch, right? It's supposed to activate in 15 minutes. I get it now. And it always lasts the same, I guess, the duration. Okay. So it will activate for 15 minutes for the range of 2 kilometers, man. Hope you heard it. They heard it. Holy shit, let's see. 
it seems like he's not too far away from the others, so... I'm confident that they can catch him, but that shit will still trigger. Look at these bozos, man. These guys are so fucking useless, man. There we go. Miracle power, oh my god. <laughs> Let's go, Chrome. Will he figure out something? I <laughs> get a front row seat. He's gonna say something that will help Senku. It's expanding. It's always the same speed. Suki is the most disgusting player. <laughs> Let's go, Taiju! Yeah, look at that speed, man. He's gonna tackle this guy. Okay. And he won't get up easily now. Taiju is strong, dude. I saw his sister. So this fucking idiot didn't realize that Ibarra put that inside of his mouth. It's inside of his body. How fucking cruel, man. Just make him throw up, man. It's already activating. Oh, what is happening? We're going all into Shadow Petrification Beam, how? I don't have a fucking clue what's happening right now. They're all gonna get petrified. Okay. I mean, un unless he like throws like the bottle of nitric acid in the air, and as he gets petrified, that shit drops on him or something. I don't know, man. I like this little conversation. We match. He's interested in that technique. A nice little moment here. I like that. And they think that they will not be revived because they are not needed to. Any of them. Sweet car. Look at it. <laughs> I don't know how to feel, man. Like, I feel so many emotions right now. They clearly thought of something, but what? And he knew exactly that 2 km is the range that won't affect the ship, man. How the fuck did he do that? Whoa. That was quite ominous, man. This literally right now feels like a total defeat. And the end of it. But, see. Such a vile person, bro. <laughs> Look at all those poses, man. They're all raising. Yep. Why? I know that it has to serve some purpose, man. Oh, what are they planning to do, bro? Soyuz and Taiju. 
He will recognize that he's connected to the master. Oh, Soyuz was right there. Tails them as well. So he has memories like his mother. That's how it happened. And she went to send Soyuz away. Bro. Oh my god, she was probably fatally wounded, but she did it, bro. Uh, Soyuz needs to kill this guy. I don't get care that they don't want to kill anyone. He crushed him to get that back. Footprints from when? Okay, it's our vehicle. Okay, this is some this is some sort of trap that we created for sure. Five meter, one second. Yes! Oh, get back, Buzzard! Oh shit, you have to say it close, that's why as he was falling, he was so close. But be careful, that shit is still near him. How did Sinko avoid being petrified? <laughs> one on one boss fight. <laughs> They're gonna end the episode here. Oh my god, bro. I'm actually so mad at this cliffhanger right now. Okay, so Senku tried to issue the command, I guess, but... You have to actually be close, like you're whispering to it or something, man. That's why as he was falling down, he was so close to it and was able to do it while Yo was holding it. Man. Yo's greatness didn't last long, man, but I'm glad that it happened anyway. These characters, man, the relationship they uh, built, the bond they built, the uh, villagers of Ishigami village and Senku's friends and everyone. The fact that they all made that pose, right, and they all, like, still are, like, full of spirit and they, it's like they know that Senku will be able to do it, man. The trust that they have for each other. I really like these two episodes, man. With yoga. Yeah. I'm glad, man. I, I, like, I'm glad when characters, like, uh, realize their wrongdoings and uh, basically become better, better people, right? I'm all for that. Man. It's not like I will suddenly, like, fall in love with uh, yoga's character or anything like that because it's kind of hard to forget that he literally tried to attack Mirai, even though obviously he wanted, uh, he anticipated Tsukasa jumping in front to save her, and that happened. He wounded Tsukasa fatally, by the way. If he didn't get frozen, he would die. Uh, I wonder if they, if we might involve, I man, there is no way that we can involve Tsukasa in this, man, in this like battle right here. That's definitely not a possibility. But yeah, I was talking about Yoga. Um, we can forget that he basically killed all of those subordinates uh, when they died to sulfuric acid, right? So yeah, he's a pretty messed up dude, man. But I liked him in this episode. And a little flashback of him practicing that spear move. It's a martial art of some sorts that he learned from. I don't know if that's his father or somebody that they passed, down, passed it for generations. Uh, I like that Moz was saying that he's interested in trying something like that. Their little like conversation before they got petrified woke up some emotions in me. I liked him 
even though that I necessarily don't like those two characters that much, man. I really like what the author did there with two of them. Man. That they were saying that they are not needed by anyone, right? That they will probably remain petrified. <laughs> but that's clearly not the case, man. Uh, it's clear that our ideology is, of course, to save everyone. And that means every human being. And that includes Moz and Yoga as well. So, yeah, these episodes were pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing too much to talk about, man. It was pretty enjoyable. And I'm looking forward to next episodes, man. We even got to see that. Soyuz was there when he was baby, when his father got petrified, and shout out to, to his mother, man. She did a great thing to protect her child, grabbed him immediately, started running away, even blocking the spears and attacks as she was running. Unfortunately, he got hit, she got hit by one of those attacks, and that probably led to her death, but she was able to save her child, and the destiny, the fate brought him back here after 20 years and I'm sure that there will be a happy ending at least for this island, but <laughs> now I'm curious to see how will this 1v1 boss fight actually end, man, because it's literally Senku alone against Tibara. Senku tried to use that tactic to activate the beam, but the beam is still like, the item is still close to Ibarra was caught by surprise but it's Senku he wouldn't do something so reckless without having any backups so it's gonna be so fun to see how that concludes I think I will end the video here for today uh, thank you for watching guys I hope that you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing leave a like comment all that good stuff as always check out my patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions I will be seeing you very soon with another video until then Take care and have a nice day. See ya.